सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स कंसिडर वन मोर एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन सिस्टम ऑफ कोप्लेनर कॉन्करेंट फोर्सेज सो हियर इफ यू सी वी हैव गॉट ए सिस्टम ऑफ फोर्सेज दीज फोर्सेज आर एक्टिंग इन द एक्स वाई प्लेन दिस इज एक्स एक्सिस दिस इज वाई एक्सिस सो वी हैव गॉट अ फोर्स ऑफ टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन अंदर फोर्स ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी न्यूटन एंड दिस वन इज फिफ्टी न्यूटन एंड दिस वन इज हंड्रेड न्यूटन सो ऑल ऑफ दीज फोर फोर्सेज आर एक्टिंग इन अ सिंगल एक्स वाई प्लेन एंड दे आर गोइंग टू पास थ्रू सेम कॉमन पॉइंट लेट मी कॉल दिस पॉइंट एज पॉइंट ओ सो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सिस्टम ऑफ को प्लेन और कॉन्करेंट फोर्सेज सो टू फाइंड द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ सिस्टम ऑफ फोर्सेज वी हैव टू रिजोल्व ईच फोर्स अलॉन्ग एक्स एंड वाई डायरेक्शन ओके बट इफ यू सी हियर वी डोंट नो द एंगल मेड बाई दिस टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन विद एक्स एक्सिस ओके सिमिलरली वी डोंट नो द एंगल मेड बाई वन ट्वेंटी न्यूटन विद एक्स एक्सिस और वाई एक्सिस ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस एंगल एज वेल एज दिस एंगल सो लेट मी कॉल दिस एंगल एज ट्रीटा वन एंड दिस एंगल एज ट्रीटा टू सो वी हैव टू फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट दिस एंगल ट्रीटा वन एंड ट्रीटा टू सो द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट इज वेरी सिंपल इफ यू सी हियर सो वी हैव गॉट अ ट्राइंगल ओवर हियर एंड दिस वैल्यू इज गिवन एज वन एंड दिस वैल्यू इज गिवन एज टू सो फॉर दिस ट्राइंगल वी कैन फाइंड आउट ट्रीटा वन As tan inverse of this is one and this is two, so we can say one divided by two. So this value will be twenty six point five six degrees. Okay, and similarly we can find out the value of theta two, which is tan inverse of. So it is four by three. So we can write down four by three. So this value will be fifty three point one three degrees. So we are able to find this angle theta one. And this angle theta two. So theta one is twenty six point five six, and theta two is fifty three point one three degrees. Okay. So now we'll proceed from here. So we got the value of theta one. So this angle, which we called as theta one, so we got the value of theta one as twenty six point five six, and this angle, which we called as theta two, we got as fifty three point one three degrees. Okay. So let me name them. So I'm going to call this force as F one. This force is F two. Let me call this as F three, and this one is F four. We know the angles made by the forces with respect to the given axis. So with respect to x or y axis, okay. So we got theta one, theta two, and this angle is sixty degree. Now, so now the next step is to resolve these forces along x and y direction. So if you see here, we have resolved these forces. That that is two hundred. 120 50 and 100 along x and y direction now if you see this particular force which is 200 newton so this angle we have got as how much so this angle we got as theta 1 is 26.56 and for this force 120 newton this angle we got as 53.13 now we can resolve this particular force along x and y direction so this along x direction it will be 200 cos 26.56 and along y direction it will be 200 sin 26.56 similarly this also we can resolve So it is 120. So along x direction it will be 120 cos 53.13, and along y direction, this is along x direction. So along y direction it will be 120 into sine 53.13. Similarly, we can resolve. This force also along x direction. So since this angle is 60, this also will be 60. So this will be 50 cos 60 degrees, and this will be along y direction will be 50 sin 60 degrees. So this angle will be 40. So I can resolve 100 along x direction as 100 cos 40. And along y direction is 100 sine 40. So we have resolved all the given forces along x direction, 
y direction okay here also we resolved along here also this force has been resolved along x direction along y direction this one is also resolved along x direction along y direction and similarly this one is also resolved along x and y direction you can see okay so all the forces have been resolved along x and y direction now we will write down all the forces and their components along x and y direction so f1 force f1 you can see it is 200 newton so force f1 is 200 newton and its x component is 200 cos 26.56 it is acting towards right so it is positive direction of x axis so it is going to be positive so it is plus 200 cos 26.56 similarly the y component is 200 sine 26.56 it is acting in the positive direction of y axis so it is also positive so 200 sine 26.56 now we'll take force f2 which is 120 newton so its x component is acting towards left that means negative direction of x axis so it is negative so it is minus 120 cos 53.13 and its y component is acting in the upward direction that is positive direction of y axis so it is positive so it is going to be positive friends so plus 120 sin 53.13 sin convention is very important now f3 let's see f3 so f3 is 50 newton so we'll write down 50 newton as here and its x component is 50 cos 60 you can see here it is acting towards negative direction of x axis so it is going to be negative so minus 50 cos 60 and if you see its y component it is acting downward so negative direction of y axis so it is again negative so minus 50 sin 60 And last the force F4 which is 100 Newton so its X component is towards positive direction of X axis so it is positive plus 100 cos 40 and its Y component is acting in the negative direction of Y axis so it is going to be minus so we have listed down all the forces their X components and their Y components now we have to find the sum of all X components and sum of all y components so to find sum of all x components we have to add all this together so when you add all this together you will get the value of summation of f of x so this summation of f of x will be 158.50 okay so this value is going to be 158.50 newtons the unit is newton i'm not writing unit here so everywhere we are going to follow same unit so it is newton and here also it is in the newton okay so summation of f of x you are going to get 158.50 newtons similarly if you add all these values together you will be getting the value of summation of f of x. so after calculation if you add these values you will be getting summation of f of summation of f of y as 77.85 newtons so 77.85 so we got the value of summation of f of x and summation of f of y now we have to find the resultant force the magnitude of resultant force that is 158.5 square plus 77.85 square so you will get the value of resultant value of the magnitude of resultant as 176.56 newtons okay so we got the magnitude of resultant force we can also find the direction of resultant force and the direction of resultant force which is given by theta so the direction of resultant force is given by theta which is tan inverse of summation of f of y upon summation of f of x so this value will turn out to be theta equals tan inverse of 77.85 divided by 
0.50 so if you solve this the value of theta is going to be 26.16 degrees so the value of theta is going to be 26.16 degrees okay so we got the value of resultant of magnitude as 176.56 newton and the direction of the resultant by theta which is given by theta which is 26.16 degrees okay so this is the procedure we are going to use to find the resultant of given system of coplanar concurrent forces so thank you very much